Hey, in today's video, I'm doing my second update to Partners in Cream. This project was started by Steph Lyons and Dylan here on YouTube. So stay tuned because right off the bat, I'm going to go into my first product. I have the Marc Jacobs uh, Lola Perfume, which is discontinued. I've already mentioned that. There is a very small amount left in here. This will be out next month. I will probably replace it with another fragrance. I'll let you know in that video. <laughs> so stay tuned for next month. This I used 11 times this month and it went down from 257.8 to 255.1, which means that 10 uses equates to about 2.45 grams or ml rather of usage. Anyway, that would be an interesting stat for me to use to calculate how long it would take for me to finish a 100 ml bottle of perfume or even 50, even 50. However, let us not forget that your usage of perfume totally depends on personal preference. Obviously, if I don't want to smell heaps, then I won't use as much as this. If I am mixing fragrances, again, won't spray as much. Or if a perfume has a lot of silage, or it's very strong, or depending on my preference for the day. So those are all things to take into consideration when you are trying to pan a perfume. Following that, we have the Tarte Energy Skin Intuitive Lip Tint. I love this. And right now, um, I showed you before, it, it had like a piece chipped off. Now I'm at the point where I've got to use the back of my nail to sort of carve some out and pop it on my lips. I'm wearing it right now. I have a lot of products that could dupe this and I say dupe very sparingly now because I remember seeing a reel by a skincare blogger who is basically saying that people are tired of hearing others call cheaper drugstore versions of things dupes because they don't have the same ingredient like exact same ingredient list and it's just it's false advertising it's false influencing rather and why do people take the fun out of everything? Why do you have to take it so seriously? Anyways, I digress. That's just me. I don't know. Couldn't be bothered. Couldn't be bothered. That I used how many times? 16 times. I'm not surprised by that because sometimes if I don't wear makeup, I'll just pop this on my lips and put a little bit of blush. I'm trying to really focus on the cream blush and this the most. This started with 1.75 grams in it and I started with it while it was very, very well used, actually almost finished. I used it 16 times and I calculated that for 10 uses, I more or less use up 0.125 grams worth of this product. Another fun little intel to have for myself. And also because, you know, it's a good way to calculate how long it would take for you to finish certain types of products. Next, I have the Bodyography Foundation Primer in the clear. This started at 15 ml. I had used it a bit prior, so it probably didn't start at full-fledged 15 ml. And I'm so surprised by the calculation of this. So I used this only eight times. For some weird reason, I keep forgetting to put it on. Um, I clearly wore makeup more than a dozen times this month, but I have a tendency of forgetting it a few times before my foundation, but I would only wear this if I was wearing foundation. For 10 uses, it says that I would go through 2.125 grams. I only went through 1.0 seven grams this month because I used it eight times. But based off that calculation, 15 mill milliliters would take me 70 uses. 70 uses? Am I just like crazily light-handed? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> maybe my calculation's off, maybe, but I wasn't 
entirely cheap with this. Sometimes I would slather it all on and then I would even bring it down to my neck a bit because you know the feeling of that silicone-y kind of, is there silicone in here? There has to be silicone in here. Anyway, silicone, silicone. Elizabeth Arden, ceramide cream blush and honey. Remember when I was telling you guys that last year I was working on the Becca cream blush in terracotta? That was a lot more of a, a loose formula, if you will, more buildable, kind of just sheerer. I don't want to say it wasn't pigmented, but it was just, this one is firmer, drier, and therefore more compact. Think of it as like an eyeshadow that's more hard pressed versus an eyeshadow that has a ton of kickback. I used this 15 times and it only went down 0.1 grams in weight. By that calculation, 10 uses would only bring me down 0.066 grams, so obviously less than 0.1 grams. Yeah. Anyways, at least it's developing a dip. That's quite nice, isn't it? I don't know how long it's gonna take for me to hit pan. I can kind of see over the edge here and just see the, how deep, I don't know guys, I don't know. <laughs> I'm a little bit more optimistic about the MAC cream highlight in Shell because I obviously used it heavily before adding it into this project. I kept it in my drawer for the majority of this past year in 2022 and uh, there is a kind of lighter point in the center that I want to focus on because I think I think that might be pan my friends I think it might be pan soon very very soon next month this I used 12 times and it went from 19 grams down to 18.9 Wow Wow anyway <laughs> 10 uses would actually bring me down 0.083 grams. Lovely, lovely. Well, what I predict to be happening next month is, this is going to be done and out and replaced by another fragrance. I will probably replace the Tarte Skintuitive Energy what have you by the Lancome Bomb and Love that I showed you previously uh, in last month's video. Actually, no, not in last month's video. Where did I show you guys that? I think it was in the products I'm planning on using next year. I don't remember. I will link those videos. You can check them out in the cards and in the description. And I do predict that we will hit pan on the Mac cream base in shell yes i can't wait and if you missed my last video check it out it's popped up on the screen love you bye